fifty dollars in here. I may have put a hundred dollars right there yeah, with the pips and all in it. But what you could do, you could you could make you a coil. Make you a steel. Make a steel and then tie a string on the end of the thing where the the spurs come out of the can where you had your eyes and it drip, drip, drip out like that. And, and come find out that's what was happening. This guy, he, he drank some, some of the torpedo alcohol out of one of the tanks there. And he had a steel set up there, and he was distilling a little bit of liquor still. And that stuff was a hundred and ninety something proof. <laughs> well, he didn't need a whole lot of drops there, but we was there in Royal Hawaii, and there's a guy from. <coughs> Some of the guys had been out on the street there, and some army guy wanted to come in there and see what it looked like in the Royal Hawaiian. Well, the Royal Hawaiian was reserved for submarine people only. <coughs> and just about from every boat, when they left the boat to come up there, you'd see a guy have a, a, a sea bag, and it would be in the, be square. That sea bag would still be, you know, be round where it had clothes back then. Well, when I first saw that was leaving, I said, what in the world? I don't understand that square C bag. He said, when you get down the Royal Hawaii and you see what it is, what they'd done, they'd had a five-gallon can, one of those square five-gallon can. They'd drink, drink the torpedo alcohol out of there, and they brought it down there, and another guy might set him up a steel. But well, anyway, they'd run off a bunch of that stuff, they are sitting down there at half the hour, instead of drinking that green beer they had, they was drinking that torpedo alcohol. This one old boy from the army come in there, and he won't drink of it. And me and some of us said, you ever drink the torpedo alcohol? No, but says, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a heavy drinker, and he says, it won't affect me. I says, are you sure it won't? I says, that stuff's 190-something proof. No, he says, I can take it. So they just poured him some straight in the glass. He turned it up. <laughs> he just about set him afar as he swallowed it there. Well, after he got his first drink or so down, then he could swig it then. All of a sudden, he slid out of his chair and slid out of the table. Some other guys kicked him on up the table, just left him lay there. They says, you wake up in the morning sometime and can get out and go wherever he's supposed to be. What was this torpedo alcohol supposed to be used for? For a torpedo. So you had them, the old steam operated torpedoes. It, it was, you burned that oil. I mean, you burned that uh, alcohol and it was sitting under a thing. Well, it was just the, uh, your torpedo. Your, your torpedo was a steam operated outfit instead of it running off of gasoline or something. It was steam operated. And is that the reason you saw the white weight behind the... Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yeah, That's yeah. exactly the reason. When did you got into the, where the, the water was phosphorus, or it didn't have to be that far, but if it was phosphorus, it just drawed a line from wherever you shot it out of the tube to wherever it went. And if a destroyer saw that, they knew it was a tor torpedo running across there, and they'd get on that and come to where it started from and go to dropping depth charges off, you stood a good chance of sinking the submarine. Well, then they got electric torpedoes and them things that couldn't get them to explode. Well, there's several times that we, um, the town, we fired electric torpedoes and the thing just climbed the side of the boat and cut a flip backwards and never, never exploded. <laughs> yeah, you can you see the, the ones that's looking through the periscope watching the thing. Says, boy, they're getting excited. They see this thing here coming up the side of the boat there. And if it would have exploded, it would have the whole side out of the, the boat there. That's the reason I said it. And then, then when it, did, when it did, the frigates or the destroyers or destroyer escorts got after you, and they started dropping the depth charges. The way you could tell if it was very close, you'd hear something about like your finger snap like that. If you heard that, they had a little old gun in there that would fire to make the, the depth charge explode. If you heard that that thing fire to start with, you could bet your bottom dollar it was just going to be right on. If it's further enough away, you didn't ever hear the, 
the detonator go off on the night well you didn't have to worry about the depth charges much. Hey boy, if you heard that thing snap, you better get ready because it'd bust the light bulbs out of the inside of the top out of the, the 